Welcome to the car guys and welcome to a sunny Milton Keynes where I'm here to visit Dave the trimmer who has a very special treat waiting for me. That's right, the Porsche 718 Spider has been reupholstered in aged leather and it's ready to pick up. So I know you're desperate to see what it looks like and so am I. So let's check it out. Okay, so I've driven the 718 Spider down here, which is the Octane Collection in the South Downs. You'll see there's some beautiful cars here, which I'll show you in just a minute. But I'm conscious that you have not yet seen the new interior of the Spider, and neither has Jason. He's over there, so let's go and see how the car's turned out. Let's have a look at the interior. Right, what are we going to do then? We're off to, uh, you're finally going to reveal, because you've been a real git for not showing me any pictures or sharing. It's not funny. I know you think you're bloody clever. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Before we get started, quick wristwatch check. This week I've got on my Rolex Yachtmaster 40 in uh, Everose Gold with an Oysterflex strap. Very pretty it is too, if you like that type of thing. And I'm wearing a Batgirl today, uh, again. So two ladies watches from us guys. So here we go, this is it, your first look and Jason's first look simultaneously live on the car, guys. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, this is amazing. Look at these seats. I actually thought Damien was gonna go for a much lighter brown than this, but this fits perfectly. I was a bit worried because I thought black door cards, light brown beige seats, the guy's frankly lost his gold. But no, look at them. Oh look, they've got spider written in them as well. Oh wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's bloody awesome. What do you think? Yeah? I think. Does it I, work? That definitely works. Are they comfortable? Can you actually? They are super comfortable. Am I going to burn my legs? Because it's no. like 3000 degrees centigrade out here. Oh, mother. Oh. Now I think they're more comfortable than the sort of Alcantara that was there before. They are? Yeah. They are super comfy. These are much nicer than what was here before. <gasps> He's done the door pulls as well. Oh my God, look at those. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah, now, loving that. Now the door pulls, now this is interesting, okay? Because right. I wanted to get your reaction on the door pulls. So as we were deciding what to do with the car, I said, hang on a minute, here's an idea. Uh, what about doing the door pulls? You just put a little sheath of leather on them no problem won't affect the the action you know we don't have to take the door apart to put them on but oh i want to know what you think about them really because actually i'm wondering whether it's a step too far what no, do you think, think what do you think perfect i yeah? think honestly i think it ties in this and that i absolutely think it works it's the only thing where i'm not sure if it 100 100 works and whether it's too much to take a little bit of brown from there, whether they should just be brown on the seats, but no. you, you, you think it works? Absolutely, it ties the whole thing in. It's Interesting. Spot Interesting. On. Maybe I'll keep it then. I was going to have this whole bit today where we were going to cut them off with a pair of scissors, and I was going to have to say sorry, Dave. Uh, I was wrong. I'm cutting them off. But you think we should keep them? Well, I think you should keep them. But I mean, <laughs> it would be exciting to cut them off though at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Dave. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm now thinking: Do we go brown steering wheel? <laughs> I think brown steering wheel would be a bit too far, yeah, personally. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So is this complete now? Are we done? Are we done now? Is this the whole the whole conversion process complete? No, no. We've still got the exhausts to do. Of course. So I've been choosing exhausts, deciding which one to go with. There's about four or five that you can actually get, and so I've been listening to sound samples had a lot of people a lot of you at home have sent me samples and ideas as to what exhaust to put on it and uh, and i think i've pretty much decided now next stage of modding for this car the final piece is probably the exhaust no it's not exhaust is it you're modding oh. your car exhaust yeah it begins with a z oh exhaust o o r s t exhaust <laughs> exhaust yeah, gotta yeah. get the exhaust sorted yeah so what do you think ladies and gentlemen what do you think of damien's conversion of this porsche spider do we think he's done a good job? Do we think he's done a rubbish job? Comments below. And now it's a beautiful day, so I think the best thing to do is 
Number one, have a look around the Octane Collection's cars and drool over some of them. Uh, number two, maybe take something out for a drive for another episode coming soon. But right now, once we've, once we've done all of that, I'm going to be taking this car for a damn good thrashing around all the beautiful roads around the South Downs. And I'll update you on some of the other plans for this car. Quick interlude, we're here at Octane Collection and Fast Classics. Uh, Jason, if you could pick two cars from this selection to drive away right now, what would they be? Challenge Stradale. This one is stunning in pearl black. Uh, obviously got the ubiquitous stripe down the middle. I just love these things. Number two pick, I'm gonna go Porsche, the 4.0 GT3 RS uh, sitting over there. They've actually got two in here. I would have the one with the silver stripe down the middle. My choice of two cars from Octane Collection would be this 550 Barchetta in ice blue or this Porsche Carrera GT. So there you go guys, that's the new leather upholstery in my 718 Spider. What do you think? Leave some comments, let us know what you think. I'm massively, massively pleased with them. I think it really transforms what was quite a conservative looking car. And now it's sort of really starting to feel more like a classic Porsche, a 50s RSK Porsche. I think Dave the Trimmer has worked his magic yet again. So regular viewers of the channel will remember that the aim of this car was to spec it in a way that kept it simple, which is why I didn't have parking sensors because I wanted to keep all of the bumpers and everything unadorned with those horrible little parking sensor nipples. So I wanted the entire outside to really be black and silver. I wanted inside to be as simple as possible because I was going to make changes to it. Step one of the modifications was getting the PPF and the decals, so the racing meatballs on the car. 72 obviously is, the, is my birth year, so I wanted to get those decals done, the um, Mobile Pegasus on the left wing, uh, the meatballs on the bonnet and on both doors. So I wanted to get all of that done and then and then PPF'd obviously to protect it. That was stage one of the of the modding of this car. Stage two is these wonderful aged leather seats. I went for the standard seats because I wanted to go for comfort. I didn't want to have buckets. I've got enough arthritic pain from the buckets in my GT3 Touring to know that in this car I wanted to be able to get in and out of it easily and comfortably. Now they've got that aged sort of cafe racer 1950s racing Porsche look. And then step three, which is coming to an episode soon, is of course the noise, the exhaust. I have now chosen it, I've now purchased it and I'm just waiting for it to be delivered and then fitted. I think that will be pretty much the final stage of the modding of this car. And then I will end up with a brand new modern interpretation of a classic 50s racing Porsche. And step four will be then to drive 100,000 miles all over the place and just enjoy the hell out of it. I want it to start getting battle scars, I want it to start feeling a lot more lived in, I want it to feel like an old car, so I am not precious at all really about the interior, I'm not precious about what I do with this car, I'll take it anywhere. The only stipulation that I do have is that I am not planning to ever put the roof up. So it has been down since I bought the car, it doesn't matter how dusty it gets, it doesn't matter how dirty it gets, this car is all about fun and I'm hoping that the racing exhaust will be that last piece of the puzzle which will mean that this open air experience and this old classic feel will just come alive. I'm really looking forward to giving you sort of running reports of how this car is, how it's performing, what it's like on long journeys, what it's like on the track. I can't wait really to put some serious miles on it and I want to bring you along for the ride and I want to tell you exactly what it's like to own and live with this car. 
I've currently done 1200 miles so thanks to all the wonderful weather here in the UK recently I've been able to actually take it out and drive it I've only got three things that I don't really like about this car at the moment one of them is of course the squeaky brakes I'm not enjoying that and the other two are tiny aesthetic things that you notice when driving it putting on more miles the first is the way that there that there's dark plastic immediately below the wing mirror I don't like the way that it goes GT silver and then cheap looking black plastic down to the bodywork I would have much preferred if that continued all GT silver and I'm not a big fan of the fact that the third brake light which runs across the lovely bulge on the back of the car is again in cheap plastic that is a horrible item and Porsche you should kind of be a bit ashamed of that because it is nasty so I might have to look at painting that GT silver at some point because it really is incongruous with the rest of the car I don't know what you were thinking Porsche frankly but apart from that everything else is glorious so you've seen Jason's reaction you've seen the car in detail I've shown you every aspect I parked up in a lovely wheat field to show it off in its best light and now it's time to end thank you very much for watching this episode on the 718 spider and its new awesome age leather upholstery please subscribe leave comments and likes we read all the comments and we respond to many of them also visit our website thecarguys.tv where you'll find not only updates about our cars and about the car guys but also you can buy our merchandise as well our t-shirts and our hoodies we very much thank you for your support also check out our instagram carguys.tv and there'll be another episode along next friday